This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Steuernberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Volvo EX30, and today we're gonna test auto parking. How good is it? Hmm, okay, I get the feeling it might not be the best out there, so let's uh, start then. So when we're just driving like this, we can press the camera button. And then the big plus here is that it is already scanning for slots, but it doesn't immediately scan like a Toyota. You actually have to drive forward, uh, yeah, like uh, Mercedes. I want to do a little uh, sandwich test right now. Okay, it found something, but this is weird. You see, we have this representation here without the real world layout thing. Uh, but you see there's a car there and then they, they found a spot there. Huh? What? Okay, let's, let's, uh, if we keep driving, what will happen then? Yeah, you see, so we kind of guess that that's the spot. And when we click there, then it appears there. So it's a bit weird. And then we say, just release, release the brake pedal. Okay. And then it will start there. There's a human there and a dog. Okay. No blinking. That is minus. But maybe they don't blink in China. Okay. Then it goes back. But at least it wants to, yeah, it shows me now in double layout here what it wants to do. So that's good. Oh, very nice. Okay. And that's it. I have to visually inspect here and on this side. Yeah, that it looks okay. Okay, and then let me see. Camera. Can the bro pull out? P assist. Scan. What? No, it's scanning for. Okay, nope. So we don't have pull out. Okay, next case is here the spot that you should not park at. So just press the camera again. All right, and then just drive. But you see, okay, it found it found something there that was probably uh, uh, next to the Tesla. But we're just gonna keep driving. But this is slightly harder to figure out which spot is it. That, was it this spot that you're not supposed to use, or no? Wait, maybe there. Uh, you see, according to this, this is behind. Okay, maybe keep driving a little bit more. Oh, there's a car coming in front of us. Okay, he wants to. Okay, and Uber. Ideally, I should try this earlier in the morning, but. Could I get out of the house earlier? Nine. There, okay. It leaves a gap there. Hmm. I suspect this is right next to a Tesla. Let's try. Okay, it goes forward. And then it turns the wheel. Okay. That's why it needed to go forward. It needed a uh, hard. So it figures out the, the, the angle. Yeah, so that is uh, next to a Tesla. Okay. So that is good. This is the first car that refuses to use that area to figure out that uh, it's not, uh, no, huh, okay, it had a little hesitation there, but it goes slow. Uh, I haven't really timed these stops, the park, yeah, okay, at least it did it in the first try, okay. There was a case where it um, it had to go forward when I tested it before I shot the video, so let's see if I can try to squeeze in between the two corners. So. We can try to figure out which slot it is. This is always a bit trickier. So you see one car there, and then it's supposed to be a spot in between, right? And then another car. Uh, we just have to keep driving, and then... Well, that's strange. Da, 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 yeah. So we, we're pretty sure this is the spot, okay? Let's try. But you see that you cannot choose direction. You can only go back in, not nose in. So that is, is also a small minus. And it seems to be going quite slow with these operations compared to some of the other cars. The other cars, they they, uh, they don't have that weird pause. It, it feels like they are more confident. Here it's like a student trying to park, right? You, you see how slow it goes compared to the other. Otherwise, like they, they know exactly how to turn the wheel. And then, yeah, see, now it wants to go forward. Okay, uh, why? Why couldn't it just figure out the angle and then go in in the first try like the other cars? Hmm. I mean, it's, a, it's also, remember that the EX30 is a small car. It doesn't need that much space. I couldn't understand it's a big fat limousine and you have to maneuver a bit. And also there is plenty of space here. So yeah, uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, it seems like it might get a few minus points here also. But it did park, okay, it did park in the line. But I feel like I'm too close to that car versus this car. Now, is there, is there a reason for it? Let's check outside. So here, 
Okay, not perfect angle. I'm not sure how the car figures out this, that it wants to park like this. Because if you see on this side, is this approved? Um, did it try to align according to this blue, uh, sorry, uh, yellow corner? Or did it try to align according to the white corner? I, I don't know, but uh, it did not center in the lane, uh, in the slot. So that will also uh, be some minus points. Do you guys agree? I'm not trying to be uh, biased or anything. I'm just trying to be as neutral as possible, doing some tests. What about parallel parking? Now we have a spot here in the middle. Tesla is still there. Okay. We press here and then start scanning let's see it should find a spot in the middle it is typically on uh, these situations that you need, need okay there you found it so it's quite certain that that's the one we want okay release the brake okay it goes forward that's also what i should do wait how far forward do we need to go bro what that is a lot for uh -uh, okay and then slight wheel angle and then increasing wait it has a light wheel angle hope i don't scratch any rims here oh okay oh, okay, okay it knows what it's doing right it knows the corners of the car then it goes forward well this is really well done yeah so where it matters then it does it excellent there yeah okay well you can just inspect here on the side yeah okay quite tight parking and then uh, as usual it doesn't pull out wait oh uh, now we can pull out huh so oh uh, you, you can yeah okay where it matters this time it blinks interesting there's a car coming from behind okay no it, it went the other way this is the first or the, the only scenario where it blinks okay but that kind of makes sense. Where you need help with pull out, then uh, the car will help you. Even though it is awfully slow, it's like an old man driving. People behind will be impatient. Okay, it put it, the car in park and then it stopped the blinking. Okay, wait, uh, huh? No, it blink. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, but uh, uh, let me see now. I will show you something interesting. Now, if you drive forward thinking that, oh yeah, let's uh, try to park behind this uh, X-Pang or will it find both slots? And you'll be scanning, uh, thinking that you'll be scanning, but you're not in the scan mode because this is now disabled. So you have to enable this and now you're in the scan mode. So let's see now, we will find two spots. Will it appear as a car there, the X-Pang? Yeah, okay, it found something, but it didn't show, not show the car. So that is also random that sometimes it shows the car there, sometimes it doesn't. But we should find two spots. If I can find the other spot, I will try that. Dude, how long? No, okay, it d didn't find it. Can I, can I just... So, oh, I can, okay. So that is also weird. Uh, another minus point. It didn't find the other spot. Okay, why not? <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't squared. It, it, is, it has been pre-programmed by China to look for square parking spots. So if it has a little bit weird shape, that it doesn't, doesn't find it. But at least it works by vision. It doesn't work uh, with ultrasonic sensors like Tesla. So, okay. Okay, and then can I also get some uh, pull-out help here? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, now we are like this. Uh, if I, Okay, power. Okay, let's say if I exit the car right, and then want to go out again. Hmm, interesting. Camera. Oh, okay. I have the pull-out option. Okay, let's try. Okay, it seems like in this scenario, in the parallel parking scenario, you have the pull-out option. But even now, when it's completely empty around us, it is also dog slow. It, it is so slow. <laughs> but I mean, slow is good because if you bump into something and you have low speed, then the damage is quite low. Okay, so, no, 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 I don't want to blink it, bro, okay. Yeah. Scanning for, okay, let's see now. Will we find any of these three slots here then? The ultimate test for this Volvo. Swedish quality. Swedish tech. So, okay, found one. Uh, which one is it? Ich weiß nicht. Okay, let me see. What about the second slot? How about the second slot? Anytime now? 
You only found one spot. Okay, it seems like it only finds the middle spot because the other spots, they are not rectangular or square or, you know. You see? It, oh, it found, okay, huh, that's right next to us, right? Okay. And the next spot? Nine. Yeah, every time, you see. Okay, I, I think I'm driving too slow also. I don't have to drive that slow. The car is... In, even though it drives slow, the processor is faster. There is, it, it, okay, so it can only find the middle slot. Yeah. So, um, uh, okay, uh, I think we are done. Oh, holy shit. Do the, the, oh, super slow maneuver. Yeah. Maybe it just it just mimics a typical Volvo driver, you know? Yeah. You, you, you want to make this as realistic as possible. So now we just... Okay, so at least it is consistent here. It is... Uh, yeah, it uses more of that space there because it's available. So you just do this and then so it doesn't have to jiggle too much back and forth. Yeah. And then it stops there. Booyah! Yeah, okay. So can, do, does it, can we also get the pullout help here? Just checking. If it's completely empty. Oh, we can. Okay, we can. So all right, I don't need to draw that. So, yeah. How well did the Volvo do it? Um, it was okay in some cases. It got some plus points that all the other cars failed to do, like the non-parking spot. But in pretty much all the other aspects, it was quite bad. So, yeah. I'm not going to rate any points here, but uh, I don't know about you guys, but um, it seems to be below average. That is my impression. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.